Hola people, quick update on the tiny house. A few of you asked what's going on with it. So we've just finished ship lapping the interior. We're kind of going for this cabin feel, very light, very airy. And our goal is to keep it as natural as possible and add back color as splashes and you know, different areas. So we've used tongue and groove ship lap everywhere. And that is more or less just to have a solid material that will handle the bumps and the maneuvers on the road. And so we've gone from ceiling or from floor to ceiling that we've done pretty much most of the ceiling. That center area that you see remaining there, we're going to probably lay in uh, or pull it down just a hair, or I should say build on top of it just a hair and have a uh, kind of a strip of some type of textured material, either a stone or a marble, something, something to still stick with the earth concept or the, you know, the nature concept, and uh, but add some color. The uh, entertainment center and the storage area are coming together. Still have to create this final step and hatchway to get to the emergency cutoff. But um, a couple of you asked how this thing is built and why some of the decisions were made. So inside of each one of these cabinets is a rib that is um, one and a half inches thick and that goes around the circumference and it's the concept is what's known as a torsion box. Essentially you're distributing weight through the geometry of the structure uh, and so since we wanted to stick to uh, residential code as much as humanly possible. These are actually 32 inch wide steps, the same thing you would see in your in your house. And so that's why when you step on it, the footprint that you have is, is pretty much identical to what you would be accustomed to in a residential setting. So because this is a plywood structure and not made of framing lumber, uh, we want to add that rib in there to reinforce it. Now what we'll probably be doing to the back of this is using that as two separate storage areas. The back will have shelving in there that will be concealed somewhat. And then there'll be a faux back on or panel on the back of this to show uh, really just um, to kind of make a, a single bookcase, a single shelving system, if you will. And uh, so shelves in the front, shelves in the back, faux panel in the center. And that concept's followed down through the two, the large and the medium, and then these just have dividers going, going through them halfway uh, for little knickknacks. Down here, same thing, our utility trough is back there. And uh, following the same support uh, structure or the support pattern, if you will, for the stairs. As you can see back here, we have a stronger support for the edge or the back of the staircase. And then we have that rib running from the floor all the way up the body of that first cabinet and then continued through the staircase. And so basically, wherever a human being is going to be walking, you will be essentially stepping on a support that runs from your foot to the flooring. Okay, so then we have this big old thing over here. This is the entertainment center, or what will be the entertainment center. It's going to be another faux back going in there where the TV is going to be. Uh, and we've added, we're going to continue the, we're going to add a, a butcher block countertop in here to take up that center area. So uh, kind of an espresso butcher block, white back, and a recessed area for the TV. Uh, shelving in here for two bookcases, audio equipment down here. You know the drill. Uh, we've ordered some faux brick for that wall, so that'll add to the, uh, to the, I guess, the material feel or nature feel. Oh, and then people have asked what these, what these boxes or what these squares are on the floor. So the trailer has a wheel well on either side, and we're either going to have to build over that or do something to account for that hump. And it seemed like an opportunity to build that in, add a bit of protection from the elements for that, for that area, but then use the remaining area in between as storage. And so if you were to look in each one of these, all of them, well, it's covered with sawdust at the moment, but there's a velvet material on the bottom and all the ribbing. 
and there's lighting. Let's see if I can get the camera in there. There's lighting that goes all the way down through, and so that pretty much is the entire floor system in there. And so each of these panels will have a, a area to be able to pull on it and pop the panels off. They will be tiled the same way as the rest of our flooring will be. And then back here where the entrance is, we have the same concept except just bigger. Um, so these are, these are about four feet wide and uh, just about two feet or two feet wide, four feet long. And the entire floor system is raised 14 and a half inches. And so forgetting any of the other storage that you'll have underneath the stairs, the storage up there for the bedroom, the storage behind the television. And yes, that is, that is what that is meant to be back here. Uh, there's there's going to be ample storage in this. We're still not done. Other um, stairs going to be built here for storage. But yeah, so next up, we're going to be putting in the kitchen. Uh, cabinetry, the range, the washer-dryer combo, uh, the kitchen cabinets on that side, countertops, and then we need to finish building that to the bed stand, if you will. And uh, yeah, then stair risers and a bunch of other stuff. So we're not even close to being done. We, we haven't touched the outside, so more than likely what we're going to do is uh, finish up the body of this or the interior of this as much as makes logical sense head to florida before it gets cold and then finish it down there but anyway this is a quick look at the tiny house on wheels i hope you enjoy it see you soon